What is up, everybody? This is MPK of Mr. Pretty Kitty. For those that don't know who I am, we <laughs> we got a big one for you today. Uh, this is the Magic Series 2018 number two coming at you. We're gonna go ahead and get started on uh, the tournament. Has already uh, been locked in on Toulon's. We got a full bracket here. We got some major players. We got Bubble Boots, uh, Linkster, Krakatoa, a good Palm player, Candle, of course, Arizona player, Kazu, Arcano, uh, So Called, the Mayor of the Earth, and some new players coming in. Uh, myself, Linkster, Bubble Boots, Song Hector, and some other uh, major players are actually in the tournament as well. Uh, we're going to get it started here with our first match. I believe it's uh, Questavai versus uh, Kazu. If fighting Ooh, Arizona. Arizona. Questavai playing Arizona, Kazu playing Tina. Fight. Rouse like using that 5B, that was actually a link, a oh, three frame link 5B and the 5A from uh, Kazi there. No combos yet, good push block, making that 6B whip and actually getting the punish using that 5B. Gonna get a side swap in uh, mid screen. Gonna take it to the corner here. Ooh, reach up combos. Nice up back, just oh, just completely going over that cross scatter. No more games. Two C. Good push block. Nice, nice weight. Just sticking in place to make sure that that JC actually uh, didn't get anywhere near close. This may be it. Has enough kill. Oh, doesn't even need to use meter. Good stuff, like guys. Good stuff. See some strong players actually show up here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Round two. Fight. Nice block, but try to do a late push block on that JB and he gets no opened up by the JC uh, from uh, uh Quest of I. Yeah. Read their combos. I like the fact that <laughs> basically every player has their own version of their combos. 2C. Almost went over that cross hander again. Nice block. Uh, try to go for uh, a 5v punish. Gets it anyway. Let's see some level two combos. Nope, going for the soft knockdown. There's a rope. Another six B is blocked. Nice bait on that counter. And the deepest JC cross up. Super good. Get the easy kill. Like Lots of good stuff coming from Kazu. Lots of good stuff. Wins. Where to from here? And <laughs> just so you know, whoever wins this is gonna move on to fight Bubble Boots here. <laughs> Woo! Uh, that's gonna be rough. Come, show me your power. Actually, swap pallets. Fight. <laughs> nice five B. Just such a good button to use at round start. Quest if I get hit going in. Drop combo, but the throw is there. Nice to you, rope. There it is again. Six feet. Every single six feet has been blocked. Kazu with the defense. Try to look for counter. Possibly a magic headbutt, but the uh, the crosser tells counter to come out. Soft knockdown. Super jump. Another baited counter. Lots of neutral game. A lot of rip with ropes. Kazu is just navigating over rope. Good block in that cross up too. 2C, nice defense. Good defense. Good defense. Super punish. Get off of me. And Kazu learned from his past mistake, just opting to block it out and wait for the JC to come out and then push block. Is that super? Oh, just. 40 flip in the JB. I believe that's an 18 frame overhead. That is extremely fast. Every lesson comes understanding. And Kazu takes round one. Round two. Fight. Super jump forward, baiting out the rope. No more games. I believe that would also catch uh, 40 rope as well as the standing rope too. The JC. I see. Just missed that 5D rope. Could have got some set play goings. Good push block on that 2C. You, you do not want to eat that uh, cross up attempt from uh, Tina. There's the 6B. Finally hits. Now it's my turn. Good side swap. Going back to the corner. Super. 
hard knockdown. Got a super jump. No, Midi 2C. And that launcher goes unpunished. That's negative 13 on block. That was a free jab punish. Probably tried to go for a high damage uh, launch combo off the 2C. And the counter finally works. Gonna get some damage here. Ground bounce. Super. Level 2. Gonna get the rope. That is. Oh, ground bounce drops. You only get one ground bounce per combo. Final round. Fight! <laughs> 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 just decided to wait it out. <laughs> Fighting rope. There's a cross up. There's a standing cross up as well. Impressive. Oh, that counter is actually working out in Christopher's favor a lot right now. He's figured out the timing for it. Gonna get the hit. Some decent damage to D. There's, there was an attempt. Uh, a 40 call out. There's a rope. Short out this time. This may be it, Super! Oh, it doesn't hit! Oh, I have a nice 2C. Oh, and the taunt. It is currently 1-1 right now. Arizona wins. Rematch? And we got one more here. The longer you've been playing the game, so... They're decently in the same range of playtime for uh, TFH. So this is exciting seeing how far they've come. That jab whips. 5B, very good button. Negative 2 on standing block, negative 1 on crouch block. So she can pretty much just put it out there uh, and be either safe or be able to uh, continue pressure. It's also a very good anti air as well. First of all, trying to bait out that up back from uh, Kazu. But Kazu is not biting. A lot of whip rolls here. Nice delay, making sure that 5B hit. Super jump baiting out any buttons. 2C, extremely punishable on whip and block. Gotta fly cancel that. Oh, but the volcanic bash just ends the round. Kyrie's taking it pretty convincingly this time. Round two. Fight. Round two. Ooh, short hop gets sucked. Nice jab, that good operate. Short hop gets sucked, delay the short hop. Magic Dash, that's a pretty uh, neat option. Haven't seen that before in uh, mid screen. 2D hard knockdown. Nice delay on that tick throw. Sure, huh? Oh, baited the cross cannon. Didn't get the punish though. Super Dr Could have went for Super. Ooh, going for that wake up uh, counter a little bit too often. Drop combo. Super, that's gonna hit. Level 2. This may be it actually. I uh, tried to go for the rope, but it's just in the range of... <laughs> what a 6A! That was a fantastic 6A! And for those who don't know who's this, what the 6A is, that's the universal overhead. Actually puts your hurt box in a crouching state, so... Pretty much gets head involved. Very good anti air as you can see. Getting the throw loops on. There's the tech. Get 23 frames to tech those. Oh, what a what a whip punish! That's a JC hit. Quick fight's found his rhythm. Oh, the shot broke. Cassie's coming back. Basically, cross up, cross under. Nice to lay on that counter. A lot of drop combos though. Cross counter. No anti air there. It's a, just barely missed that rejump. 5C, excellent button from Tina as well. Nice push block in the 2D rope. Double stop. Here's the ground bounce. Gonna have it up. Oh, cross up, and that should be it. Super. Oh, Max Dash says Super goes through. Uh, delayed the counter a little bit too early. Kyle has a chance to come back. A oh, wake up jab. What a way to go out. My mama don't raise no fools. Arizona wins. Where to from here? <laughs> what an outstanding first set here. Questlot taking it 2-1 over Kazu here. And Questlot moves on the bubble boots. We are going to start off with the match between Flying Chicken and Agape. All right, we're getting we're getting it started on the way. We're going to have uh, the second half of uh, the round one players in Song Stream. Say hello, Song. 
Hi everybody. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm on the I'm on the other stream right now talking to MDK. Uh, <laughs> but we're we're already going in with Agape versus Flying Chicken. <laughs> so if you'll send me, if you'll send me back over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, anyways, Agape's playing Velvet, Flying Chicken playing Arizona. Agape starting off with some uh, some light zoning. Not a all right, so getting a few more icicles on screen now. Unsafe launcher, but doesn't get punished. Alright, Arizona starts off with a Alright, good corner pressure here. And that uh Agape needs to use that DP on wake up. Oh, just rolls out for free. That's fine. And you can always bait the DP, you know, Arizona's, or correction, Velvets tend to like to use that option because it's plus two on block and, and uh, invincible on startup, but not the case here for Agape. <laughs> 2A anti-air. It's it's surprising how, how some of those uh, crouching normals will work as anti-air sometimes, but it uh, doesn't work out for Agape overall. All right, round two starts off with a heavy stomp from Flying Chicken, but Velvet's too far away. Gets the low rope. And the stomp starts the combo. All right, it looks like Flying Chicken settled in after a little bit of a weak start last time. Just goes for some easy uh, repeated overheads in the corner. And it's all working out right now. Level twos for the additional damage. Doesn't actually keep the combo going. It uses the uses the rope too many times. And unfortunately, Flying Chicken just it wasn't sure how to mount an offense. We'll see if they manage to pick it up in round two. And with Velvet, sometimes it's not even so much mounting an offense. It's getting your defense mounted and having the uh, opponent... Uh, Hang themselves on the on the wall of your defense and icicles. But never seen perfection before. Round one. Fight. Yeah. Alright, Agape backs off. Manages to not get hit by the stomp. Gets caught by the low rope and the Arizona combo game begins. Another unsafe launcher. This time it was punished appropriately. Those overheads in the corners are working out. Don't want to be uh, caught just holding down back. I know I get caught holding down back quite a bit. And a simple 2A to seal out the first round. All right, back in the corner. Just gets in with a short hop. Let's see, another unsafe launcher. Once you're in the corner with Velvet, you know, the, the only icicle that you might be able to get out is the, uh, is the J236A, that, uh, downward, that downward jumping icicle. Oh! Manages to convert into super, but not all of it. The last hit doesn't connect. Or was it? Huh. I definitely missed something there. There's no uh, no hard knockdown. It must have been uh, one of the uh, additional projectiles that caused a additional JD and allowed Flying Chicken to escape earlier. I definitely missed that. Anyways, uh, good stuff. Junae, what is the next match? Leolum and Thracker. Leolum and Thracker, all right. Let me go over to them. Just so everyone knows, this is, uh, it was intended to be a 32 player bracket. Uh, and all brackets going forward will be uh, open to 32 players, but uh, we didn't have enough people get in their, uh, get in their, their check-ins in time. Lucky you. So it ended up being 29. 
We're still missing, I think, Ready? one player in this bracket. Five. Anyways, Leiloon throws to Thracker. Thracker playing Velvet, Leiloon playing Paprika. I've seen Leiloon play a number of times. I've played against him myself. Uh, so we'll see. The Paprika's taking a very cautious approach at the beginning. Managing to block a number of the Velvet's projectiles, but still taking a lot of chip damage on the way in. Thracker 2 playing really defensively. Very good. Uh, gets the open up with the overhead. Converts nicely for a short combo. And this is this is good velvet play, not overextending with the with the uh, projectile game. All right, manages to not get punished for that blocked overhead, and not using too much of the magic, still having a little bit to work with. Gets the jumping two A or correction the J A, and that was some solid defensive velvet play. Leilun was not sure how to get in. See, usually I'll be flailing on the icicles a little too much and get punished by a teleport. Alright, is ready for that teleport. Thracker's clearly waiting for these teleports. Gets the uh, Shatter Sea opener. You can convert with some wind off that, uh, but that is not exactly easy and possibly a waste of magic. Alright, Leilu finally gets an opening. We'll see if the Paprika Vortex starts. All right, goes for the basic super finisher. You can cross up JC. Nope, stays stays in front. Gets to go to grab. Ooh, gets away with that miss shatter B, but still gets uh, punished in the end. Another super. This will be the uh, the last mix up, possibly. In front, JC seals the round. Good, good comeback from Leia Loom. All right, let's see if Thracker can get back to that really solid de defensive play from the first round. All right, just trades with a, a 5A and gets to the level two. There's, it's gonna be really hard for Leia Loom to get in for these next two seconds. Those two seconds are up. It's a really short slow. Um, I would personally like it if it were maybe a second longer, but you do get those three magic and. Those three magic were being used to uh, great effect by Thracker there. Still blocking. Did not fall for any frame trap, no frame trap nonsense. And that'll be it. Very good match. Leilu made an adaptation in the second round, but Thracker just buckled down again on the defensive play and punished those uh, those uh, punishable paprika mix-up and trap attempts. And Jude, if you can, uh, in the background, if you can find eye control, um, because, yeah, I need round to, one. I want to be able to do my match. Alright, round two, or match two, round one. <laughs> Thracker just jumps back a million times and then Shattered Bees gets away with it. Alright, the bouquet gets Lilium in, but drops the combo. Thracker rolls out, doesn't get punished. All right, very short combo. Doesn't overextend and manages to block the teleport C. And clearly Thracker also of the short combo school for Velvet. As Leilun does not actually have a lot of meter to work with just yet. All right, it's not going to take too much more. Doesn't do anything, just waits for the Paprika to try and do something on Wake Up. Tracker continuing to play slow, very much working out. Don't be ashamed, you were beaten by the best. Round two. Fight. All right, it's continuing the same game plan of uh, backdashing away. Isn't getting isn't getting punished for his backdashes. All right, gets caught this time. Command throw in a combo. All right, just goes for the. Kissy face into the, the super. This time goes to the other side, but Thracker was totally ready for it. Trades on the Shatter B, but it's more of a advantage for the for Thracker for sure with the distance. Leon closes in a little, doesn't open up with the bouquet, manages to block the overhead Shatter C. All right, now now leon has got Thracker in the corner for some blender action. Let's see what happens. Apple on screen can't press J. 
Oh, goes for <laughs> goes for a throw attack or a throw. Uh, jumping. Correction, jumping throw. Whatever the attempt, it got him out one way or another. Doesn't convert off the uh, the random JA or the defensive JA, not random. Very good. Made his uh, 2148 Shatter A safe with the uh, 5D. And this could be it. This should be it. This is it. Very good play from Thracker. Very good play from Leiloom too, but it just wasn't... That's that's the problem sometimes with Paprika. Uh, you don't always know exactly how to open up your opponent if they're playing super defensive. And uh, Thracker didn't even need to use DP, so... Very good stuff. Oh, 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 uh, next match should be me. And I picked the wrong color. Are you prepared for magnificent? Okay. Ready? Fight! <laughs> ah, you little... Ah, loser face! Wonderful! Spicicles! <laughs> for any damage done to my flute. Round two. Fight. Look, don't touch. Are you little... now I broke you without breaking a sweat player two wins lucky you you get to be defeated by me ready fight now I hold you accountable for any damage done to my flute I'm just gonna say this this is the most velvets I've ever seen Round in one of our attorneys so far Safe play. Alright, managed to take that one. Totally picked the wrong color, too. Way too, uh, way too nervous. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next set here. Bubble Boots versus Quest of I. Quest of I versus Bubble Boots. Should be an Arizona uh, mirror, but I have seen Bubble Boots actually playing different characters here. He's been playing Paprika, Velvet. Uh, I know he's played Oleander Not and uh, Tinwo uh, a little bit. Never underestimate the power of a kick in the head. Pretty much every character except Tom, really, Bubble Boots has uh, got his hooks on. That's two year old. Dash up to him to 6B. Good defense. Take off. 
Nice push block. A lot of use of that magic dash from Questify. Maybe doing a magic headbutt. Oh no, he's in the vortex. Lots of 2D Roken. All of that magic. Stayed in front. Nice anti air headbutt. Going to the corner. There's another headbutt. 2D. 2C and the rope. Oh, tried to hit magic button out of there. Tried to probably hit jab. But it got counter hit and actually reset the jungle cage. Oh, that was oh, that was pretty convincing. Round two. Fight. Round start stomp. Just staying out of range. What a DP into the Jackson version. 2C, hard knockdown. Staying in front again. There's the disrespect. Please get off me, Chris if I says. Nice block. No push block. Short hop. That's all. Actually, also an 18 frame old man. Cross on your headbutt in the super. Better get that jump the key back. Gotta put it back in the corner. Still got that 5D room. Oh, it actually missed. A little bit too much jump the No push block from Questify. Nice push block. Goes underneath the headbutt, but doesn't check it. This may be the round. Press by gets a hit. Hope they get some set by going. Nice block on the 6B. Saw the first time, decided to not let that happen the second time. That's one over Bubbles. All right, one more here for Questify versus Bubble Boots. If Bubble Boots takes it, Questify has to win two in a row here. I reckon you're in for a wrecking. Round one. Fight. There's a back dash for round start. Very good option for airs. What a cross of JA twos. Super jump actually lets you uh, get the auto correct on super uh, uh, normal attacks in the air. Good defense from uh, Bubble Boots. No upbacks at all from Crystalline. This is gonna eat all these stops. Trying to there it is. Oh no. Counter it. Got a push block. Oh no. It's just working. There's the push block. Oh no, he's back oh, in it! Come oh oh no! Gotcha. Oh here. no, this may be it! Gotcha. Oh, that is so rude! Yeah. Let it go! Gotcha. Set him free! <laughs> Mess with the cow, you get the horns! Round two. Fight! Oh, there's a stomp again. Oh, Acting gets out of it this time. Good stuff. Oh, no. There's two. Oh, oh no. J 6B goes over. Oh, Marvel. Uh, Try to go for it again with the two. Oh, no. He's back at it. <laughs> just jump forward, Quest of I. You can just, you can do it. Six. Oh, no. Back at it. There you go. 6B wins. Just jump forward. There's the back dash. There you go. You do get in vulnerability break. Oh, it's super. Catching the cross under. And that's going to be it. Oh, my goodness. What you want to do during that situation is just back dash on wake up. Uh, back dash into up back uh, also works. Four jump also works. Uh, back dash on wake up actually has seven frames of invo. So if you are hard knockdown or soft knockdown, you can back dash and get those frames of invulnerability. That loop is absolutely not real. <laughs> oh goodness, that what a savage! Round one, fight. <laughs> Round two, fight! <laughs> 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 
Paprika wins. Yeah, I, I wish I could commentate my own match, but like I definitely made oh. some dumb mistakes. I crouch blocked on a on a cross up J short hop JC that I knew was coming. I don't know why I crouch blocked. Anyways. Break the ice. Round one. Fight. now yeah I couldn't compensate no surprise I wonder how much of his inputs got eaten too I know some of that obviously was a uh, was intentional I hated that I fell for that one trap in the corner that really sucked I was I was push blocking decently and then I just decided oh look he teleported siege and then trap of course it is what it is I got a couple of inputs stuffed I actually got to fight Flying Chicken now. Uh, it's actually round two uh, for most of the uh, bracket here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my fight on. Fine, but let's make it quick. Slow works too. Ready? Ready? Fight! <laughs> ah! Hmm. Yes. Die! Darkness! Hey, yeah. 
There we go. Let me go ahead and put the bracket here. You're dumb. You lost, and you're dumb. That was perfect. All right. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Get that easy magic. Get that double magic. Oh, nice. Nice buttons. Let me go ahead and put the bracket in the uh, Twitch chat for any of those that missed it. Uh, flying chicken. Fred, look alive. Of course. Round one. Fight. Flying chicken. You never had a chance. Only and a win. Link versus Corn is up. Linkster, still one of the golden boys. Uh, his paprika is probably one of the best out there, if Kill not the it. best. Uh, he's been Round saying that he's been one. trying a few new things. Hopefully, Fight. he brings them out in the tournament here. And there's Corn playing the Arizona. Very patient this time. Is that 5D? Trying to go for that 5C. Uh, decently easy link there. Alright, go take it to the corner. Round bounce, pass flat, kissy face. Just completely stop the headbutt with the throw. That is throwable. All of the Arizona sp uh, magic attacks are uh, throwable. Gonna get the four he makes up. Cross up. There it is. Round bounce. Kissy face. Ooh, getting caught jumping forward. Gotta be blocking during the super flash. JC, double JC. Just opened up low. The push block, absolute guard ran out and was not blocking low. Kissy face. Jumps over. Now Corn has no meter for reversals. And cross under. Free t shirt. Corn getting caught by doing push block. Linkster recognizes it. Cartwheel aiming that light cartwheel underneath and getting that cross up t shirt. It's that ground bounce rope. Missing the 5D rope. Good block. Ooh. It's that 6B. 20 frame overhead. Negative 12 on block. No 5D rope there. That standard rope. Gonna take it to the corner. Wake up super. A lot of wake up supers actually. Oh, getting caught by that. <laughs> Teleport C, Kizzy Face, Super, another low lane mix up. Fabrica still has access to command grab. Gotta, gotta recognize that. Stayed in front, probably tried to do Super. And the jab, resetting the jungle K. And the pipe plant's gonna add enough damage to kill. Links are taking that pretty convincingly, baiting out a lot of reversals.
I like the option to stay a, a bit safer. Got to remember to block uh, before the super flash with uh, against Arizona, unless you or you will get hit by that wake up super. And one thing to remember is that short hops do not have uh, the same properties as normal jumps. You cannot block during uh, short hops. And we're going with the run back. Linkster is up by one. Corn has to win two in a row. Let's go. Nice block. <laughs> Nine at 6B. Gotta remember <laughs> 6B has some startup to it. 20 frames. Very risky to throw it out neutral. Good block on the empty jump low. Fighter for Freakers Vortex. And after doing Kissy Face Stagger, she can normal jump forward and go for the uh, empty jump low, the command grab, or the uh, tele uh, cargo C overhead, which is 17 frames. Nice push block in the super. No conversions though. Got to remember you can even just jazz for it in the corner and get the uh, the hit there. A lot of quick quote from bro, rope attempts from Corrin. And uh, there's the punish on the soft. Soft are actually punishable for Arizona. Kissy face. Oh, just doing jab in the headbutt in the 6B. It's working. 6B again, no push block. Super, gonna do 2D. There it is. But Linkster knows it's not real. Super, that's gonna chip out. I like the decision to just take the win. Spin the bar, take the win. A lot of whip rope attempts I'm saying from Arizona players. You gotta remember that it's basically a command grab. You can't just throw it out of neutral and expect it to hit every time. It does have a lot of, uh, of recovery frames to it. About 54, I believe. Nathan's working out in Karen Corn's favor right now. Nice cross on the headbutt. Gonna take it to the corner. Oh, tried to do magic headbutt, but got the uh, stop there. Uh, expected Linkster to hit his button. But Linkster's like, no, I'm not doing that. And that 6B is working out just fine. Ooh, tried to go for super. Wake up super again. It whips again. Magic Dash and just goes underneath the center roll. Corn is not hungry. Final round. Nice 5G completely stopping that bouquet, but Lacey says I'm going to do it again. There's a lot of whip punishing from Linkster on the side, and I am digging it. As I went trying to go for another whip punch on that car roll. One thing to note with the Freaky Super it is that it's only in ball on the uh, uh, during Super Flash when she leaves the screen. When she comes back on screen, she actually has a hurt box, so she can still be hit. And there's the hard thing on that Super. Link says, like, you're going to do this every time, so I'm just going to sit here and wait. That's 2-1, 2-0 uh, for Linkster here. He's going to move on. Good stuff from Corn. He's going to go to the second server uh, for the losers. And I'm actually fighting Thracker now. 2-0 Damnaku. That is neat. Damnaku's a pretty decent uh, Velvet player as well. So I, this is going to be exciting. I Ooh, Velvet. Let's, let's, let's see what's going on here. Dissuade me. Go get him, Molly. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Back to the corner. Wake up, Shatter B. That's not even. Back to the corner. That is not a reversal. Ah! 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 Ah!
That is not a reversal. Shatter V is I not a reversal. I don't have the time or crayons to teach you how to fight. Round two. Fight. That is also not a safe block swing either. Here comes Fred. I'm afraid of the side. I missed the, ro the uh, throw there. Super, that's gonna be it for the first round too. Down, down, deep, and surprise. Two frame link. That is not a reversal. To see, uh, see here. Is that free read? That is not a reversal. <laughs> That's so silly seeing that happen. Yeah, don't read. Oh, I'm not getting to the teleport V. <laughs> Super, that might kill, actually. It does. You may have 
have my autograph now. Velvet. Okay, that's one one. I have trained years for this. You will not dissuade me. Go get a Molly. Ready? Fight. That is not a reversal. <laughs> Gotta remember that I it's negative 14 on block. To teach you how to fight. Still has a hurt box on uh, startup. Round and I think the only properties is it has an anti uh, it has an anti hurt box. Outcome, really. And that's 2 1. Only in the All right. Bubble Boots versus Arcanel. A slew of characters. Maybe Arizona versus uh, Tina here. Maybe a Tina mirror. I know that Arizona uh, has get to do a little bit of work way. to get in I against Tina, but it is possible for her to Round win that matchup. Fight. And Bubble Boots going with Arizona, just sitting there, just waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Take off. Good blocks. JC winning out there. Another JC getting caught with a lot of buttons and then a cross up. Not able to see underneath. Hard knockdown. Nice up back. Oh, and just a flyover cross under. Cross up. Another one. Oh, and a 5 lead hit and does 4 D flip to get the cross up. That may be the end of first round. Nope, drops out. Good block. Very nice defense. Oh, but drops out. Oh, uh, goes for the 2-2-A, two, two that down, down, light stomp. defeat be the end. But flip is just too good. Round two. Fight. Gotta remember, try to super jump so that uh, Tina does not get that chance to just cross up or get that advantage in the air. Hard knockdown again. Super jump. Good cross up. Using that fly off of the buttons to get that cross up opportunity, and it's just working out in Arsenal's favor here. Level two, gonna get that easy damage. And this may actually kill. Ground out. 6A, and that ends it for match one. Like a moth to the flame. That is a very tough matchup for Arizona much. there. Unanimous says Arcs level two super. Just not about your health bar. That is correct. Le level two for uh, oh, Tina yeah. actually does a ton of damage. Actually leads into some of her more damaging combos. And just, just comes in with 6A and it still hits. Oh, Body rope, getting that extra magic. 
Now it's pretty much an even matchup. It has the access to a counter and headbutt, so now I'm not have to be honest. Nice flip out. Air dashes forward immediately to get that cross up. But we're going for that short hop, JC. Hard knockdown. J.A. checking whether or not Bubble Boots is going to do that headbutt. There it is. Out of the corner now, but it's susceptible to those uh, cross-ups. Super jump checks. Please, no cross-ups, Bubble Boots says. Nice flip punish on that firecracker kick. Was not by Castle, though. Fighting rope. There's again. Recognize that Arcano is not afraid to 7D. Get that flip out. Hard knockdown. Baited out the magic. Oh, try to go for another super jump check. Uh, probably JB. But gets caught by the firecracker kick. There's a JA again. Such a good button from Tino. Excellent block! And nice bait. Try to bait out the button with using that fly cancel. And just drops down into a, uh, an empty jumbo. And that's gonna be it. Doesn't need meter. With every lesson comes understanding. Trying to go for those six A's. Oh, just double cross up. Getting open up by those JC's. Bobo's got to use that push block on absolute guard. There it is again. Get open up low. Didn't switch to blocking low during that, so the absolute guard did not kick in. Cross counter, please get off me. Back into that flip. Oh, that is actually safe too, that 5C from Tina. Try to go for a super punish on something. Maybe a delay 2C. So you got a lot of damage here. Drops out and gets crossed up. Oh, drops the J.A. J link. Oh, nice throw. Catching that 7D is actually throw, in, uh, throw vulnerable. Oh, but just a falling button from Arcanel. Like a moth to the flame. And Arcanel takes another one here. Alright, Arcanel moves on 2-0. And Bobo is going to go down to the loser's bracket here. And I am fighting Raysol next. Oh, Raysol takes it 2-0 over Linkster. Wow! Bubbles and losers, Linksters and losers. And I'm still in winners. What world is this? What timeline are we in? Alright, me versus Raysol. At least this works out in my favor here, if, I, if my idea is correct. Another block. Okay, he's playing extremely patient. I like it. Try to go for that throw. Gonna get the cross up here. It's over now. Very good defense from Raisel. Comes understanding. Insane. I'm getting caught push blocking a lot, trying to push block early. And Super that's gonna pinch it out. Level two. 
I did that too early. Good block. Do not let defeat be the end. Xinwa wins. Fred, look alive. Of course. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Another nice block. He got both of those overheads. I need more power. That may be it if he uses super. Oh, and I tried to do cross counter, but I was still in the air. Match well fought, but not well enough. Round two. Fight! Oh, that was actually still in front. I did not expect that. No more games. Gotcha. You're dumb. You lost, and you're dumb. Oleander wins. Rematch. I right, says so one one. I don't want to hurt you, but you leave me no choice. For the record, Round I one. do want to hurt you. Fight. Hmm. Shadow Oh, that actually trick it. Nice 5B. That was an insane 5B. I don't remember that the 
longer the combo you is, the more meter you give the opponent. Insane. It's so A match low. Well fought, but not well enough. But I have level two here, so let's see what's gonna happen. I was getting so much read and not enough level three page that all those reads were level three page. Good stuff to race all he moves on. Rematch? And it's Arcanel versus Race Soul currently. 